If you want to kill a big dream, tell it to a small-minded person. Beware of vision, dream, and passion killers. Family and friends, in most cases, sad to even say this, family and friends in most cases will be the first to try and talk you out of something that you're passionate, excited about, and that you have a vision for. Who in your life, right now, comes up with a problem when you try to think through a solution? So when you say, I want to start my own business, I want to do Shopify, I want to do real estate, I want to do, I want to create an information product, or whatever it is that you want to do, who in your life tells you you're nuts, tells you you're crazy, tells you that you should think through it more to stop being a dreamer, and you're ignoring it. You're obsessed with what other people think about you. The thing that's gonna kill your dream is your addiction to other people's approval. You don't have to always inform everyone of your next move. You don't have to tell them about your business deals. You don't have to tell them about anything. You should seek assistance in fulfilling your needs by being secretive to a certain extent. You know, if you don't surround yourself with other dreamers, here's what I know. If nine of your friends are broke, you're going to be the tenth one. That's, that's it. If, if seven of your friends smoke, you're going to be number eight. If you stay with that circle of friends, you've got to surround yourself with like-minded people. Most of the people that have no dreams will wake up every day trying to talk you out of your dreams. They have no goals. They have nothing that they're ambitious about. So they will talk you out of all the shit that you're excited about. It's really not expected of them to support you and have your back anyway. They life ain't shit. And if you're trying to do something with your life, they're going to try and figure out a way to shut you and your plans down as well. And here's the thing. Here's the thing I want you to know right now. Most of the time you go, oh, I can handle that negative person, my negative parent or boyfriend or girlfriend or friend or relative. No, you really can't. No, I'm being honest with you, you can't, because I had it my whole life. Even though you fight through it, you know they're wrong. If just 5% of their own insecurities, their lack of confidence to go for what they really want in life, if just 5% of that sticks in your life, it will create you playing small. Trying to prove people wrong or right about you is a cheap level of motivation right. and it will wear out. In other words, it's not it's not the lack of it. It's just it's not the best type. It's it's a, it's the symptom of the same disease. Right. So proving your family wrong or right is a symptom of the same disease, which is you are still obsessed with what other people are thinking about you and not doing things that make you happy, that enrich you, that fulfill your soul. And so the irony about spending your life worrying about what everybody else thinks about you, here's the irony, is that those people will never be thought about after they're dead. So they spend their life obsessing with everyone thinks about them only to die and have no one ever remember them. Because people that are so obsessed with what other people think about them never really ever fulfill their potential. So once you can drop that addiction, whether it's friends, strangers, or your parents, and you begin to do things that fulfill you, that make you happy, yeah. that change other people's lives by yeah. your contribution, now you can be remembered. Mm -hmm. Now your, your life echoes into eternity, even if it was a quiet life. Now, Albert Einstein had a quote. He said, imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attractions. This is important information. Now let me tell you the problem with your imagination. The problem with your imagination is you tell it to the wrong people. Do you know how many times God has showed you something in your imagination that you knew was just for you? You were so excited when it came to you, you went and you shared it with your family and friends. You know what they did? They shot it down. You know why they shot it down? Because they couldn't see it. You know why they couldn't see it? Because God didn't show it to them. He showed it to you. He showed you the evidence of things not seen. So you got to be careful when you share your imagination with small-minded people. Nobody else can see your imagination but you. If you just make a decision, it can be sometimes the day that starts you on a brand new journey. 
maybe a decision you've postponed and postponed and now you understand the penalty of postponing that decision. You've got to do something and finally you come to the conclusion today is the day. I now decide. And whether you decide on a new direction, uh, whether you decide to act when before you haven't acted, uh, deciding can be a, such an incredibly important, very exciting, inspirational day. So that can be an incredible source of inspiration. Now, if you don't follow through, it's not going to last all that long. If you decide and then, you know, postpone and, and you decide and but you don't still don't get to it for a week or a month or a year, you know, soon all that energy and that source of inspiration is all dissipated. So deciding is inspiring, but, but not for that long. Uh, but once you decide, it can be a very powerful day. But now, of course, now you must follow through. Everything I've ever done started with a fear. But the best way for me to overcome fear is the dream has to be bigger than the fear. That's the only way you turn around and run at it. I just want something so great. I aim for stuff so big that the dream is bigger than the fear. You cannot believe what can happen to your self-esteem. And many of you have already experienced it. I'm just asking you to begin something new in all the areas of your life. I'm asking you to start taking that stuff now that's in your head, that imagination, which is very powerful, and, and it's a great source of inspiration in itself. But then I'm asking you then to decide, use that inspiration. Then I'm asking you to make plans, begin to make plans, use that inspiration. And then if you take that first step, uh, it can be the first step of an incredible journey. And beginning can be many things. Beginning a new commitment to learning. You say, I'm going to have a library second to none, and I bought the first book of my new library today. I'm going to be surrounded by information and inspiration. I've gotten started. Uh, this is just the first of many, many books. This is the first uh, of a whole flow of information for me. This is the first time. Remember that. Beginning is a fantastic source of inspiration. Planning is an incredible source of inspiration. Deciding is an unbelievable source of inspiration. But now beginning only lasts so long. Progress. One of the greatest sources of inspiration is progress. Once you've gotten started, now you proceed, you progress. Now you go to class the second week, you go to class the third week. But it's not only progressing in terms of time, it's progressing in terms of what you're learning, progressing in terms of getting the information uh, that you hadn't discovered before. Now you're excited about that. When you start jogging around the block and uh, you know at first it's a little difficult and then it's two blocks and then you go around four or five times, but then you notice, notice you're breathing easier. Uh, you notice when you go up a flight of uh, stairs, you're not out of breath and it suddenly occurs to you in a fairly short period of time, you're making progress. Then when you start making progress in your business, your ability to make contacts, your ability to talk to people, uh, being so shy, you decided one day, hey, I've had enough with being too shy. Uh, I've made the decision. I'm making some plans. I'm going to begin talking to people. And you start, and at first it's difficult, but then very quickly, and it doesn't take a year, I'm telling you, it doesn't take a month, it doesn't take a week. I promise you, even though you're a little bit shy, if you'll just start to introduce yourself, if you'll just start to talk to someone you've never talked to before, but also understanding that with this new skill now, with this new ability, and with my progress, no telling what I can accomplish.